city. We have no time. We have no time. A bit of the light sheeting. Close the door. And let's go. Guys, we have no... <coughs> <coughs> Coronavirus. Okay, we have no time. So, let's just go. Why do we have no time? Because uh, I have an idea. When you have an idea, you just don't want to waste time. You know, you just don't want to wait. I mean, it's pretty simple, but hey. Copy the bass line. Copy paste, put it down. Add a fifth. Maybe not. Duplicate this thing. Put an impregnator on it. Nice. Let's now choose a preset. We are using a Portify preset pack. 100% one of my favorites for Serum. I know I made this some kind of self-promotion and thing, but I truly believe it's a really good pack and a lot of people do believe the same thing. If you go into your this thing here, you can see over sample Serum preset packs. Oh my god, you don't have this? Well, go to my website and maybe purchase some or get some. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's go with the NARP. So now uh, do a layer. Now we have a like a mid-range sound in here. It's actually called mid distorted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna EQ out the low. Oh, maybe leave it and uh, cut this part because we're gonna have some top end on another layer. Here I'm gonna go here. Uh, and there's this cool, really sick preset called Flicker One. Ooh. Put this here. You have like a sustained chords. See, I have a lot of frequencies, like 300 hertz. So I go into this one and literally just cut the 300. Cut the low end in this arm. Maybe do one last layer just to be safe, you know. Ooh. It's kind of similar to the first one, but uh, it has like more like a high frequency instead of mid range. Yeah. Make this one wide. What we can do is we can uh, create a new LFO, like a sine wave. Now we assign this to the pan knob. Uh, but I want this to start on left side. Yeah. Yeah, maybe put a little bit more of the reverb on this guy. Blend it. Put it in the background. We should cut the high end here. Maybe try a different preset, actually. See, this is a really interesting thing that is happening right now. When the, the ARP is being turned on and it's playing with all the other layers, you, you can't hear this. You can't hear the like... Doot, 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 doot. But when you turn this off, you will see that this is actually making a pretty big difference. Right, the whole thing is getting just, just more empty, like less full. Uh, so the last thing we need is a bass line. Cool, but we want like more sustained one. Oh yeah. So now, after we are done, we can group this thing and we can apply things like Fab Filter Pro Q, make sure that the sub bass is mono. We can make uh, high frequencies uh, a little bit wider. Uh, I guess OTT, right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here actually, pitch this down, because this is A, I hate A. Every single time I have this thing happening to me, all the time, when I make a sick melody and I'm like, oh my god, this is it's just so mind-blowing, it's so insane, and I see what the root note of this 
sample is and it's like a every single time and i hate a it the bass on a sounds too high there's no deepness to it just it just sucks so um put this down f f is sick how about simply lfo tool on it like let's go to just like all times and just do the simple auto filter and lfo tool chord stacks modulation automation We could do like a filter opening here and maybe a pitch automation also. So this is going to be problematic now. Um, what we have to do, because I want to do a pitch automation, a pitch pen automation. So I have to group these, like check this out. Group this guy and I'm going to go here and I'm going to take this thing, copy, put it in here and into the new chain. Create a new chain. This is ARP. What? Oh, right. Bam. And now we take a baseline. Baseline in case we can be on a separate track. So we have four layers on one track. That's sick. So now what I want to do is I want to go into Serum. Um, actually go to Macro section, right? Uh, open Serum. And I'm going to go into minus 12 and 12. Map this guy to Macro 1 sick and basically do the same thing for all, all of these layers so now what we can do is we can go here automate this guy check this out yeah so what we can do is now we can uh, at the end of the chords we can do like a sweep down like a pitch down you know and basically do the same thing at the end and the beginning of each chord I want like I want to have like a bigger and smaller movement. So now we are getting into the rate territory. Now we're gonna be modulating rate and changing the speed of the chord. But, 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 but wait, where is this? You know, I'm not a big fan of this bass. I think we are gonna use a classic virtual riot one. Really good for future bass. Yeah. Also, if you have a thermal by output, it's just insane plugin. It can turn your basses, like every sound just makes fuller. Like it's super useful for basses. I'm thinking about one more thermal, you know? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so we are in this section now. Uh, I think we can put this guy here and put some vocals in it. You know, it's classic vocal chops. Just some traditional tradition. Okay, the question now is, if I put this here, duplicate this guy and pitch this up. I can put Hass effect on it now. I think this can stay as a layer, right, to the chords, and we can make the melody with the separate uh, MIDI track thing. It's gonna be like a, more like a cheesy future bass, which I'm kind of cringing now a little bit, but that's fine. Let's go with uh, keys, right, voice drops. Yeah, what we can do, we can just duplicate this, consolidate, just convert that to melody. Oh, 
oh yeah what we can do here is we can do pretty nice pitch shifts right <laughs> Uh, maybe this or maybe just just oh that's cool see how boring this is now Ooh. oh we can use the vibrato oh how about like <laughs> yeah that's cool just a little bit Oh, so, okay, so duplicate this guy, and um, I guess we're gonna put this here only. So it has like like a little bit of the switch up. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of cool. On the on the short notes to put this vibrato. Hey, that's cool. You can do this like slide here and here. Okay, that's sick. Let's see with the whole whole thing. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah. Like this. Bam, cut, paste. Okay, so I, I guess we spent like 50 million hours of me making it. So I think I'm just gonna, just gonna copy paste this guy here. Yeah, like do, do like a build up really quickly. Yeah, okay, so we what we need now is like really quickly, like three trucks. We need this guy, this guy, there we go. Pre-drop swipe. Mm, I guess what we need this, this thing. Duplicate this like that maybe. So last thing we have to do is we have to take care of these cords. As you can hear, they're really chopped up, like really, really plucky, which is cool, but um, they are losing in volume. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a compressor on it. Like right here. Yeah, we can leave that click at the beginning. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on. Right here. So it's almost like it's at the same volume now. But when I turn this off though, it's much quieter. Yeah, that's kind of cool. How about... That's cool. Like, boom. Let's see. Kind of works. Okay, so let's take a final listen. Okay, so I guess that's it. That's a pre pretty nice truck. Not as cheesy as I, as I thought. It kind of makes me cringe. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, we can side on that subscribe button. Also, you can visit my site oversample.us for some high quality samples, presets and free sounds.